Hi there, Steve Coffin here. Just finishing off an apple. Um, today I want to share with you some of the things that I do at Link, how I learn my languages. Uh, remember, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Uh, tick on the tap on the bell here or click on it in order to get notifications and come and join us at Link. So obviously if I share what I do, how I learn languages, I'm going to refer to Link because that's where I learn languages. I also happen to think it's very useful. I put a lot of my you know, time and life into it over the last 15 years. I believe in it. I think it's good. I want to share it with other people. Hi. Just wanted to interrupt to update you on my statistics in the 90 day challenge. Finished month two, so I'm showing you statistics for the whole month of October. My goal is to get to 20,000 known words, which means I need to have 2,000 new known words each month. I got pretty close in the month of October. You'll see how I do that in the video. You'll see how the words in my transcripts of my Algeria, Al Jazeera podcasts uh, are more and more white and fewer and fewer words are yellow or blue. Uh, and I understand them a little better, but it's a long road. And I think it's a good thing to, to share what we're doing in, in learning languages. Uh, that's one of the things uh, in my presentation at the Polyglot Conference, I was sharing some of the things that I did, how I collect um, content to learn from. Uh, and I have uh, indicated they would be fun, you know, as we're all hunkered down in COVID, and particularly older people who may be at loose ends or, you know, I'm lucky I have a fairly, fairly large house and uh, I can go to the golf course, but some people uh, don't have that opportunity. Like the great thing about the golf course is that it's, it's an opportunity to be social without being in a room with someone. So we meet all kinds of different people, some of whom we know, some we don't know, and it's social and we play, I uh, play very poor golf, but but many people don't have that. So I thought it would be fun to get together and share our experiences in language learning and maybe encourage some people, including seniors, to get more active in learning languages. By the way, next Tuesday, we're going to do a, a live stream in Espanol uh, with Shelby on the different things that we do on Link. So that'll be live streamed on Tuesday, 10 o'clock, I think, Vancouver or Pacific Standard Time. So it's fun to share what we do. Um, I, by the way, I contacted or we, one of the people in our office contacted a seniors group here in Vancouver to suggest that we could do a, a live stream with seniors and talk about language learning and their comment was, well, is your organization for profit? Uh, you're not allowed to talk about any for profit, uh, thing that you're doing. So I said, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We needn't bother. Uh, having the session because if I'm going to talk about language learning, I'm going to talk about Link because that's what I do. Anyway, so with that, what do I, two things that I've been doing recently that may be of interest to you. One is because I'm in this, um, you know, 90 day challenge, I'm sort of under the, under the gun. I want to increase my known words total. And every week I do a little summary of my statistics and you'll see that my known words total is growing. But I have two major activities, which I'm going to share with you now. I did a, a, a sort of a screen share on my iPad for whatever reason. I tried to explain what I was doing and that sound was not recorded. So you'll just see sort of silently what I do. But the sound that did come through was the sound that comes from the iPad. So I'm going to show two things. I'm going to show, first of all, how I go to the vocabulary section select status three words, have them in order of importance so that the most frequent ones show up first. And then I go through there and discover that in fact, I know many, I have 50,000 saved links. So status three, I don't know how many, but there are thousands of words that I have moved to status three because either when I'm reading or whatever, and I feel I know it a little better now, and I kind of shoved it along to status three. So I get go into the vocab section, I there's like 45 pages of status three words and um, either I start at the top which is the most free you know the highest frequency ones or sometimes I'll just select page 16 of 45 and start going through there and I normally will find lots of words that I know already and so I go through there every day try to get 
a hundred of them. So if I can keep doing that, then I'm going to move my known words total to uh, that 20,000 number. I have the feeling that with 20,000, that will kind of be a bit of a milestone in terms of my comprehension, comprehension of these uh, podcasts that I get from Al Jazeera. So I will show you how I do that. And uh, so that'll be one thing. So you, I've explained to you now what you are going to see. It's going to be me at the vocabulary page, uh, ticking off, moving some, first of all, selecting for status three words. You'll see that. And then uh, deciding that I know this word and moving it to known, which is a tick mark. I do this, you know, I, I'm not too tough on myself. If I kind of think I know it or I would recognize it in context, I move it to known because when I'm reading through texts at link, these will now show up as white. They won't be shaded yellow and they certainly won't be blue. If I find that I don't know them again, I can move them back. But I like it when I get into my texts and I see a few yellow words, very few blue words. It gives me that sense that I'm getting somewhere. And But yeah, if I find, in fact, I don't know the word, I move it back. I don't demand of myself that I'm able to remember them and use them. Because again, my attitude is if I can achieve a good level of comprehension so that I can just listen to podcasts and listen to Arabic and I'm just listening all the time and understanding, the speaking will come as I speak more. But uh, I don't need to beat myself up on what does it mean to know a word. If I think I kind of know that in context, good enough, I give myself credit for the word. It also nice. It's nice to sort of bump up your statistics, gives you the, the sense you're achieving something. So that's that. Now, the second thing that I do is, and, and this gets back to, a number of people have pointed out that it's sometimes useful to listen to the target language and read in your own language. Uh, I did some of that when I was learning Czech and I would listen to the good soldier Schweik, Schweik uh, in Czech and try and read it in English. But very soon you fall behind and there's too many words that you don't know. Uh, so you're kind of able to follow along while listening to the target language and reading, but there's a lot of words that you miss. So what I find really useful now is that um, if I get the transcript, so I get my MP3 file of the Al Jazeera, which I am unable to extract, but my uh, assistant in uh, Morocco does that for me. And every week she sends me three MP3 files. I put those mp3 files on to happyscribe.com. I select show date stamps when I have them printed out, the transcripts. With the date stamps, I have uh, in set, and I have to import them as, as an ebook into Link. You have to import it as an ebook. I should have perhaps shown that, but nevertheless, you have to import it as an ebook. But what I'm going to show you is how, in sentence mode, I'm able to hear the natural voice of each sentence. Some sentences are short, some sentences are longer. So I'm going to show you two segments here. One is a short sentence where there are no blue words. Another one is a longer segment and I won't go through the whole thing, but you can hear the natural voice of the podcast. Uh, I can then go back over the words that I'm still trying to learn, the yellow words or the blue words, if I'm going to convert blue words, and then I hear the text to speech. And people have commented before that the text to speech is often not as accurate as the natural voice, but that's why it's so nice to hear the natural voice voice for these segments in sentence mode. But you have to get the transcript with date stamps, which is the case if I get them on Happy Transcribe. I ask to show the date stamps. I import them as an ebook. That's how you have to import them, otherwise the date stamps disappear. If you bring something in from uh, YouTube, it is also date stamped. And there again, you can look at it in sentence mode. If you bring something in from YouTube uh, into Link, then you actually see the video as well as the audio for each uh, for each sentence. When you go to listen away from the iPhone or iPad or whatever, then of course you're listening to the whole text. Okay, so that was just a little bit of a... Oh yeah, I should let you listen to that. So I'll put that on now. You can... We'll just close out with that. You can see what I'm doing when I'm studying in sentence mode, uh, these uh, podcast uh, transcripts. سادس من حزيران وهناك رغبة لدى القوى السياسية بالذهاب 
إلى تشرين الأول من العام 2021 أو نهاية هذا العام بالتحديد حزيران رغبة تشرين الأول السادس من حزيران وهناك رغبة لدى القوى السياسية بالذهاب إلى تشرين الأول من العام 2021 أو نهاية هذا العام بالتحديد إذا محاولة كسر إرادة تلبية مطالب المتظاهرين لا ترتبط فقط في قضية الإجراءات الحكومية بقدر ما أن الإرادة السياسية إذا محاولة كسر إرادة تلبية مطالب المتظاهرين لا ترتبط فقط في قضية الإجراءات الحكومية بقدر ما أن الإرادة السياسية مت حكمة مت حكمة شماعة شماعة عليها يلقى I just noticed that the last word, the blue word that I clicked on was in fact uh, not an, it was like two words squished together. So some of you who know Arabic might have noticed that uh, occasionally the happy scribe makes a mistake. Very, very seldom. But it happens. It's not enough to disturb me. And I, I think it's important uh, to always have an attitude in learning languages that we are going to come across mistakes. Native speakers make mistakes. Uh, people criticize the text-to-speech, uh, which makes mistakes, but it all helps nevertheless. We don't need perfection. So I, th I thought I would just jump in there and mention that in case I start getting comments saying that that was a squished word. Okay, anyway, don't go for perfection. Just go for enjoyment and improvement. Bye for now.